All right, everyone. So we got a bunch of Star Wars news today. We got three trailers, as you can see here. We got Star Wars Andor, The Bad Batch, and Rogue Squadron. So these are all movies, TV shows um, that I see. So check out this first look at the new Disney Plus series, Star Wars Andor. The series features Diego Luna, who reprise his role as Cassian Andor. So this is a prequel to Rogue One. And... We will do like a little bit of a, you know, discussion about every single one we get into. But Star Wars Andor, official first look. Movie coming, or sorry, Disney Plus series coming out in 2022. So blow it up. Let's watch this first one. Everything I did, I did for the rebellion. So it's a funny show, bro. Rogue One, in many ways, it's a film that connected new audiences with the, the oldest fans. I guess we're going to see a little more it's just a bittersweet feeling, you know, in the premiere, right. knowing that it was just one film. But then magic happens, right? As you can see, we're getting ready. We're building stages. We're rehearsing. We're training. We're trying costumes. We're doing everything to make sure we do the best show. I'm really excited having the chance to explore Hassian. It's really fun to go out on a set that is emulating something you like so much. It's going to be cool to see this more towards that. Know what your business is like doing a big feature film. It's very cinematic. For me, that's where the excitement is. 12 episodes, 12 scripts, over 200 named cast members, over 6,000 crowd people, a lot of creatures that come in from the creature department. We treat this exactly like you would have would have filmed. There is no difference in our approach. Every creature and droid that we've been building has the same care, level of attention, detail as the previous films. It's huge, it's brilliant, but also job. it's wonderfully challenging. There's tons of possibilities to explore. It is the building of a revolution. It's going to be really cool to see, like I said, just the rebel side of the war, their perspective, all the war crimes, it's just bad things that they had to do in order to get the job done, like they really explored in Rogue One. This is so I'm excited for that, that's going to be sweet. Next, the Bad Batch. So, sneak peek at Star Wars The Bad Batch, an all new animated original series from Lucasfilm's animation coming to the Disney Plus. So, call themselves the Bad Batch. an impressive display. Oh, yeah. oh, that's gonna be sick. That's gonna be really, really cool. I'm excited for that. Love me some animated Star Wars. That's gonna be really, really fun. I saw some of the uh, comments inject this into my veins. Yeah, this guy's definitely evil. It's gonna be really cool to just see some rogue stormtroopers. Was visually excellent. It's Clone Wars season seven. Did yeah, no, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, well, I guess I can't go back because it's the ad, but it looks sick. And then lastly, Rogue Squadron. So Wonder Woman, Patty Jenkins will direct Star Wars movie Rogue Squadron for Disney Plus and Lucasfilm. So let's see. Patty Jenkins is a really, really good director. I love to move fast and speed of any kind. 
I think that that's because I grew up the daughter of a great fighter pilot, and every day I would wake up and go outside and look up, and see my father and his squadron taking off and their F-4s roaring across the sky, and it was the most thrilling thing still I've experienced in my entire life. So when he lost his life in service to this country, I, it ignited a desire to, in me to turn all of that tragedy and thrill into one day making the greatest fighter pilot movie of all time. But try as I might and look as I did, I couldn't find the right story ever. I kept looking and looking, but I just couldn't find that's the right one. Good on her for finding Until something that. that's gonna be respectful and amazing. Now I found a movie like about two things legacy. I love. So I'm gonna see you very soon. excited for that how it's going to be a personal story for her you can tell it's going to be really respectful to what she went through and that's going to be amazing oh, cool, cool. i like all of those i think the bad batch has me the most excited but i'm a huge patty jenkins fan i think she does an amazing job with the film she takes on and top gun but star wars made by the daughter of a pilot so, okay this is a great potential it's going to be really really good um like they said it's i think it's going to be Top Gun level action, but in the Star Wars universe, there's going to be some really cool dog fights, and I can't wait to see where exactly this is going to take place in the Star Wars universe. But it is going to be amazing. I like a top Top Gun a Star Wars story, but I like all of those three trailers, and I'm really, really excited for it. But out of all the Star Wars news that came out today, which one are all of you most excited to see? Um, I did see that. In Rogue Squadron, it's confirmed that Hayden Christensen is going to come back either as Anakin, Darth Vader, we will have Anakin, Darth Vader, um, replacing exactly which role in the timeline they decide to go from. So, super excited to see all this news. But from these three films, which one are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments what you're excited for for each of these films, of course. But yeah, if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. You can check out all my other videos through the playlist down below. If you like what you see here, of course, subscribe and turn the little ringer on if you want to know when I upload new videos. But awesome, guys. This is some really awesome Star Wars news, and I'm super excited to see more of all these movies and TV shows coming out.